A Syrian refugee who lived in a Malaysian airport for more than seven months, stranded in legal limbo, is now a Canadian citizen. Michelle Gossoub has the story. Once known as the man in the airport, Hassan al kuntar is now a Canadian citizen. When I was stateless, and uh, I'm stateless no more. But getting here has been a long and unusual journey. The former Syrian refugee story captured the world's attention in 2018 when he became stranded in a Malaysian airport for seven months, documenting his life through social media. I'm going to stop drinking coffee and switch it to Red Bull. They say Red Bull give you wings and it seems the only way to get out of here. Al Kuntar's unique situation and sense of humor may have felt like something out of a movie, but behind the jokes, there was a real fear. Al Kuntar became stranded in the airport departures terminal as he tried to avoid deportation to Syria, where he says he would have been conscripted into mandatory military service for the regime. He was accepted into Malaysia on a tourist visa, but when it expired, no other country would take him. After seven months in the terminal and two months in immigration detention, Al Kuntar finally landed in YVR in November 2018, thanks to a group in Whistler that lobbied the Canadian government to help him. The Canadian people helped me and changed my life and their as well. Since then, Al Kuntar has adjusted to Canadian winters, volunteered at the Red Cross, and in COVID vaccine clinics. He now works as a case manager on the flood recovery team in Princeton. We are the symbol for other countries in the world, how to act, how to, uh, um, to stand for human rights and uh, uh, even refugee rights. Um, I think that's what it means to be Canadian. With a Canadian passport in hand, Al Kuntar will soon be able to travel again. He plans on volunteering in Syrian refugee camps and reuniting with family in Egypt for the first time in 15 years. I have a different future now, um, the one which is uh, secured, uh, legal, permanently. And um, the feeling that I have uh, finally I arrived and I have home uh, and I belong somewhere. He says this time around, stepping into the airport departures terminal will feel like a new beginning. Michelle Gassoub, CBC News, Vancouver.